So today I thought that I would do a what's in my bag tag since my channel is pretty new. I wanted to help you get to know me a little bit by letting you sneak around my bag. I carry this Kate Spade bag. My sister gave it to me for Christmas and it's wonderful. It's hot pink as you can tell and it holds a lot of stuff. So let's see what's in this baby. The first thing that I pull out is my Erin Condren Life Planner. These are becoming really popular on YouTube and I love planners, stationery, paper, all things like that and so I jumped on this bandwagon. I'm still having to get used to the way that it's broken down with morning, day, and night. But I do really like that it comes with the sticker so that you can personalize things with when people's birthdays are. Uh, you can also buy stickers that have people's faces on them for um, their birthdays. So for example, that's a picture of my grandma and that's on her birthday. That's pretty cool, I think. So my Erin Condren Life Planner. The next thing that I pull out is the Bible study that I'm currently doing. This is one of the She Read Truth booklets. And She Reads Truth, if you're not familiar with it, is a website where women get together and they study the word every day. Um, so they have started to sell these things, which are booklets. And if you flip through, you can see I've been writing in this one. But for each day, there's a section for you to read and then a page for you to kind of digest, take notes, you know, maybe sketch something. And then on the other side, a section for a prayer and then a section for you to kind of talk about how you might make a difference in your life based on what you read that day. I love Anchor, so I particularly love this packet. They also come with artwork on the inside of the cover and also with prints. And that's what most of those are from. Uh, different She Reads Truth prints that came with my booklets. So I have that every day. This is ridiculous, but I carry these around with me. They're Stadler pens? I don't know. I found these at Staples for the first time and I was suckered in because when you take the case off, you can click it together and then it makes a little stand so it's easy for you to kind of grab your different colors. And I've used these for like two years straight now. I always have these in my bag and people make fun of me when I pull out my a big box of pens and markers, but it's always handy to have, and I like to color code things. The next thing, continuing on with me liking paper a lot, I have a Rifle Paper Company notebook that I do just different notes, things in, so that's there. I like to always have blank paper with me. The next thing is this little pouch that is also from Kate Spade, also my sister gave me for Christmas. And inside, today I just have a bunch of random lip products. I have a Revlon Butter in Peach. I have, I don't know what brand this is. Who did the Whispers? Maybelline? A Maybelline Whisper in Lust for Blush. I have a Maybelline, man, I don't know the names of anything. Um, Elixirs, and this is Captivating Carnation. And then I have a lip balm from Trey Drift. And that's all that's in here. Sometimes I have like hand sanitizer or a brush or a file or whatever, but I think I have two pouches right now. But this is in this one. Yes, the second pouch. This pouch was a freebie from Sephora. And in here I have a nail file, some Advil that's expired. That's cool. That doesn't need to go back in. Um, hair ties bobby pin, and nail clippers. I also have earphones. I try to be really good about not putting my phone up to my head as much as you can. I have an uncle that's really into health stuff and he freaks me out telling me I'm going to get brain cancer. So I try to use my headphones uh, to talk on the phone as much as I can. Let's see. Some orange leaf coupons. Body Works coupon, Meyer coupons, a little brochure from my church, a Vera Bradley calculator. This I don't normally carry with me, especially since I have a phone, but it was in my old desk. And when I stopped working there, I threw it in my purse and it just hasn't come out since. This is cool. 
Um, my sister, again, got me these a couple years ago for Christmas. She wrapped our presents in them, and they are bags that are made out of parachute material, and so they're super durable. You can put so many heavy things in here. Like, I went to the store today, and in one of these I had a pineapple, one of these Tazo um, cartons that happens to be sitting right next to me, a thing of cornstarch, a thing of meat, um, all these different fruits, and it got really heavy, but it all fits in here. Hairbrush flippy. My mom got me this, and it's one of the, goes this way, like purse holders that if you're at a restaurant, you can put it on the table so you don't have to put your purse on the ground. I don't use it that much, but it's pretty nifty to have in there. Another little nail kit, repetitive. A antibacterial thing from Bath and Body Works that I accidentally stole from my future mother-in-law. We went through security at the airport together and she put it in my Ziploc bag and I never gave it back to her. So, sorry Yvonne, but it's sweet clementine. It smells very nice. I have my wallet, which is Coach. This was a present from one of some of my students when I was a teacher. And it has two zipper compartments. In the front one, I keep cash. And in the back one, I keep cards. I really like it because it has a bow on it. And my checkbook. More receipts and coupons. And that's it. It's empty now. So that's everything I keep in my bag. I definitely need to clean it out, especially wrangle all those coupons and receipts and things. But I think that you can tell a lot about a person by what they carry around. So I hope you liked it. Bye.